Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here and welcome back to the journey career mode with Atlanta United. I'm still with them. I thought at this point in my career, I'd have moved on to another club, but unfortunately falling short in the MLS Cup final, we decided to give it one more crack. Pretty much what's going to happen is I might potentially even breeze through this entire next season or second season with Atlanta in one episode, maybe two, depending on what happens. But really, we're just looking to push it from this point on. We very frustratingly fell short in the final. We have got an insane team for MLS standards, and I'm looking to make it just that little bit better. Really, you can see this quality all over the pitch. But the standout weaknesses in the team are at fullback, Escobar, Valcarche. I might get a right back and a left back in, and that might honestly do it. And maybe, depending on how much budget we've got left, some other players as well. But before we do any transfer activity or anything like that, I'm just going to advance through this, uh, this pre-season friendly tournament, get it out of the way, hopefully add a few more... Uh, uh, just a little bit more to the budget and then we'll see what we're working with. I'm honestly just going to go ahead and simulate the entire group stage and if another fixture pops up, then we'll know that we've made it through. And we have. The Portland Timbers in the semi-finals. Okay, can we hopefully add another mil or two to the budget? The actual MLS season doesn't start for a good couple of months after this preseason friendly too, so we pick up an injury straight away. That's not good. And we end up going down. Of course, we're the away team. Can't be surprised. Well, that's unfortunate. That's an extra <laughs> only half a million more, but that should honestly be enough to put us over 30 million. And indeed it has. There you go. Over $30 million worth of a transfer budget, and I'm going to put most of that into going for a new right back and left back. The only right backs I have are Atkinson and Michael Murillo, who's from uh, Panama, but playing over in Italy. So I might pick this man up, 75 rated. I don't know if that's a real face or not. It might be, but... Uh, He's got some pretty good stats for a right back, can also play at centre back, and he's actually got a bit of height at all, six foot tall. I could play him at centre back too if need be, so I like him. He's a good multi-purpose signing, and I want to make him my first signing of this window. They're going to want 13 million when we offered around about nine to start. Hopefully about 11, 11 and a half should do it. Let's offer 11 and a half. I think that should be fine, if not 12, 12.5. Now nah, 11.5 is enough, sweet. All right, Murillo, all we have to do is sort out a contract. So let's get it done then and hopefully get our first player in of the window. I'll play it safe and just offer him basically exactly what he's on now, plus a little 100k signing bonus. Hopefully that should do all right. Yes, indeed it will. Okay, sweet. We have a brand new right back and he's going straight into the starting 11. Now all we need is another left back. And again, I've only got two left back options. One is a player that I'm looking at getting, someone that's a little, a little more local from the Americas. In uh, Bright, or how do we say that first name? I don't know, Kufre or whatever. Brian, no, <laughs> Brian, Brian, I, I don't even know. Brian Kufre, I think, but I'll just call him Kufre. At left back, 23 years of age, 74 overall, so he looks all right. And then there's also Kakashi, who we were, who we did sign from uh, Wellington Phoenix when we were still with Adelaide. But I reckon, even though, yeah, Kakashi is still considerably younger. I might actually go for Kufre on this one as well. So just get the highest rated uh, player possible. And look at that. He's even got a $5.3 million release clause. So we're paying $2.2 .2 million less than his value to get him. That is, that is beautiful. Which means we get to jump straight into the contract negotiations. Absolutely love it. He wants just a little over seven grand a week. A signing bonus and an appearance bonus. It's a major pay cut than what he's on, but... We should be used to this by now. I'm going to accept it. All right, done. We have now got a brand new right back, a brand new left back, and we should still have about 10 to 15 mil left in the budget after all that. I'll take a look in a second, but for now, yeah, there we go. We've got a brand new left back, Kufre, who's got decent stamina, nice mental and physical, all well-rounded, and his skill attributes are absolutely terrific for a fullback. I'll bloody take that. And then Michael Murillo, a bloke, or Murillo, who is a right back, can play at centre back if need be. High attacking and defensive work rates, all right, but skill attributes, nice and well-rounded there. Mental and physical are superb, good pace, nice stamina, jumping as well. So I might actually end up playing this man at centre-back a fair, potentially at times, you know. We'll, uh, we will see. And yeah, we've still got 13, 12, whatever million in the budget. So I could still buy someone else. I just, I don't know if I have anyone in mind, to be completely honest. I just wanted to get two new fullbacks. Look, I tell you what, I, I don't think I'm going to get anybody. I'm pretty happy with just making those two signings, and the rest of the team is super strong regardless. So I feel like we can leave it at that. We'll just move straight along and get into training. These are the drills. I've got Carlton, Acosta, Farines, and then I've got two drills for Justice Wagner at centre-back working on his defending stats and his on-ball pace, agility, you know. So 
that should hopefully get him soaring up to match his somewhat, you know, high 80, 90 potential. And now that the, uh, you know, preseason friendly tournament's out the way, I'm just going to advance ahead to the first game of the season, which the fixtures haven't even loaded up yet. I don't know. They're, they're a fair way down the line, though. We've reached deadline day, and I'm, I'm just thinking, I have the money. Do I really want to go for someone, anyone else? I really don't feel like I need to. The starting 11 is solid. I'm super, super happy with it. Maybe we could get another center back in. I mean, yeah, Mbere's maybe not been the best player ever, and I didn't actually want him. I, he was a signing that was just made, but hopefully Justice Wagner will be good enough and overtake him at some point. Ah, uh, I don't know. Nah, lads, you know what? I think I'm good. I think I'm sorted. I'm just going to advance ahead all the way to the start of the season, which I've now realized is the 1st of March. We play LAFC to start our season. I, I'll, I'll play that one, you know. We still have our scout reports coming through as well, so if anyone decent comes in, I will let you know. Somebody like, I don't know, Colin Gagnon, who looks like he might be okay. It's a good value anyway, and an all right potential, so I'll sign him up. And there's also another man here, Evan Jackson, who I've looked at, about the same sort of value and potential, so we'll grab him too. And oh my lord, Joseph Martinez, we've gotten an offer in, and it's from PSG. PSG won an MLS striker when they've got Mbappe, Neymar, Cavani, and of course, the legendary Chupo Motting. I could get 77 million for Joseph Martinez. Are you serious? That is unbelievable. It's, it's crazy, but look, the only reason that we're doing this one extra season is because we are all in. I'm not looking to make a profit. I'm not looking to do anything else except have the best team possible and win the MLS Cup or just win anything with this team. I've got to try to get at least a little bit of silverware before I bugger off. That is my thinking, and I love Joseph Martinez a little too much in this team to let him go. And finally, we have reached it. The beginning of the MLS season, we will play LAFC away to start it off. The first game for my brand new fullbacks, we have got Villalba returning from injury, although he's still susceptible to re-injury. Gonzalo Martinez, Pity Martinez, and Joseph Martinez up top. Barco's gone up to an 80. First game for Nathaniel Nandez as well. It's a new look team, and look, every single one of those players look, for MLS standard, just ridiculous. We have got to tear this season apart. We didn't even finish top of our conference last season because we started off so poorly when I joined them. This season, no excuses. We have to get top of the Eastern Conference. It's a little bit of a rainy, shitty day. Not really what you would expect from California, but okay, here we go. Very unfortunate that we have to arrive in Los Angeles in one of the five days of the 365 in a year that it actually rains, but all right then. Let's do it then. Brand new season, a new look Atlanta United. Here we go. I'm going down these wings an awful lot right now, and I look for the cross, and I never find anyone, so that's why I'm thinking, what do we do here? Martinez with a shot over the bar, well over two. Poor pass. Here we go. This could be trouble. Could be trouble for them. Could be, maybe. Martinez, a little fake shot. Low cross. Bang. And into the net. Oh, I got my depth perception all. It was all over the place. And Nandez, the new man, scoring the first goal of our season. We picked him up from Buenos Aires, a.k.a. Boca Juniors, you know. And what a strike. There you go. I thought for a second that's going wide. No, that has just gone in. Maybe even kissing the post in on the way. Absolutely glorious. That is such a tight little gap, but he's found a way to squeeze it in. His first real involvement in the game, and it's a goal. Come on. Man, it's just getting away from us every single... What a hit! Oh, we could have picked that ball off one or two times, but no, nah, he's just gone from well outside the box, and Farinez... Gosh, sheesh, I don't know. Is he getting beaten that far out, honestly? Let's see it. There, I thought we were going to make the interception. Drag back strike. What a hit. Ball straight over the top. Murillo heads it down. And Farinez with a big stop. Thank you. He's only been tested twice. The goal that we conceded and then that one. Thankfully, he's able to stop at least that one with a pretty good save. And now, we're through on this right-hand side. Villalba back from injury. And back on the score sheet. 2-1 right before halftime. We missed this man, we really did during the uh, finals, but he's able to get his shot off, and even though it's up there for the keeper to make a save, he does still score. Acosta, green timed it, just went from downtown for it, and didn't happen. Alright then, so, 2-1, we conceded an absolute wonder strike of a goal, a thunder you know what, but it just, ah, uh, I don't know. 
I know that I've got a somewhat slightly shorter goalkeeper there, and it crept into my mind was his stature. Did it have anything to do with him not being able to get to that ball? I don't know, but at least we're in front. Oh, there it is. There's the... Ta oh, missed another one. And there it is. You just fucking lay a tackle and at least just knock it away from them. We're just making tackles. It bounces off their shins and then falls right back in front of them. It's like, what's the fucking point? Oh, tackle there. You see what I mean? You make the... You, fu you fucking stick the tackle and where does it go? Nowhere. It just stays right with them. There's no point. It's like you barely did anything. I then after that went for another fucking tackle, just missed it completely, and then that was that. You get they get past you once and then they're set up for the fucking strike. Oh, Pogba. Apparently it's clean. Oh my god, I had no idea. I thought for sure that was gonna be uh given as a foul or playing an advantage or something, but that could have oh that could have been brilliant. Pity Martinez, unfortunately. A pity that he couldn't get in front. Looking to do the right thing. Nandez. He's going to run straight into trouble. Could be a chance here. No, yes, it was, but it was just blocked in. No, it wasn't blocked. Are you shitting me? Martinez, are you fucking kidding me with that effort then? That couldn't have... No, I'm sorry. That must have been a shot that bounced off of the defender right in front of him and then bounced back off Martinez. Opening up here. Oh, great. No, might work still. No, Acosta. It's a fucking shambles. Acosta! Saved! Try to throw himself at it there, Josef Martinez. It didn't happen. That's a bad pass as well. What am I thinking? I'm now running out of time. It's been fucking so frustrating. We've been on top in this game, and yet now, here comes a counter. You don't even jump for it, Pogba. I am thinking about getting a new centre-back. Oh, wait, it's too late. I'm now out of my fuck. I'm out of the fucking window. Ah, oh, I can't believe. I can't believe I drew this game. I, I don't even feel like I defended that poorly. Wonder goal for the first one for LAFC, and then the second one, I'm I'm making tackles. I'm I'm winning the fucking ball. I just don't ever get it back. That's what infuriates me. And on the second, I think the only mistake I made for any of the goals was on the second when I missed one of the tackles. He just cut past me, and then at that point, it's over because they'll have someone there and another strike from outside the box. But this is not a game I should be drawing, guys. We have... Ah, oh, it's very annoying once again. Ah, oh, Christ. Dominate possession, dominate the shots. The cunts just sat fucking back, honestly. Like, they, they weren't really going for it at any stage, except for when they were down. Every time they equalised, they went right back to having everyone behind the fucking ball. Maybe that's my issue. Maybe I should have tried to have let them have a bit more of it. Let them attack us. Get them on the counter. Utilize the pace of the front three. You know, that's how I'm going to fucking set up from now on. I don't even give a shit. I don't care if I'm the team that should be passing around and dominating. I'm literally just going to set up like that because that's the easiest way to score. I see Justice Wagner too, by the way, has gotten up to a 70 rating. So with how much fucking Pogba and Yambere pissed me off in that game, they all were doing some dodgy shit in that match. I might maybe even look to throw him into the starting 11 pretty soon. I've also just had my last batch of scout reports come through and no one in this team really uh, looks like a standout in my book. You know, I'm looking at potentials now only. 76 to 94, that's pretty good. The value's okay. Victor Burns is probably the only player I'll get. So okay then, I have got a youth academy and I, look at this. I'm so happy I got this Carson Park bloke because 50 overall, but the potential is out of this world. He's going to be the messy Ronaldo of right backs. He's, I don't know. I mean, Cafu, just about to eat your heart out because I, I nearly didn't get this guy because his overall was so bad. It was like mid 40s. So there's no way he's going to get in anyone's team, but that potential is just too good to pass on. So I've got him and some other talent, which I might potentially look to throw into the starting 11 when they get maybe a little higher overall. But anyway, like I said at the beginning of this video, I want to just breeze through and really push forward. So I'm just going to play one game a month. That's it. We'll sim the rest of these. We want to make good progress. Hopefully we can do so here and pick up some wins. We're at home, so I don't see why we wouldn't. And there you go. Although an injury to Barco is not good. Six weeks with a torn groin straight away. That's not good. Next game, another home game against New England. They've won one and lost one the same as we have. Or should I say we drew one and... One, one, but all right. How about with this? It's another, it's another, uh, what am I saying? It's another win, 3-0 win, but another injury, this time to Villalba. He didn't get subbed off though. So maybe that's uh, a good sign. Yeah, it's only a three-day injury. So that's 
Oh, that's all good. That's fine. It's nowhere near as bad as the Burns, or should I say the uh, Barco injury. Next game now away at Salt Lake, and please, it's an away game. I'm at your mercy. What's it going to be? It is a win, although we did take a 2-0 lead, and they immediately got one back to make it interesting, but we do win. Another injury, too. Thankfully, this time, not to any of ours. And literally, two days after that one, we play NYCFC away. Another away game, another one I'm nervous about. Come on, if we win this, we keep our spot on top of the Eastern Conference. That's all I want to be at the end of this episode. And it is another win. They also got a red card within like half an hour, so that definitely helps. There was also another injury in that game, except it wasn't to one of ours. It's crazy, but uh, just quietly, Justice Wagner's up to a 71 now, and he's not too far away from the overalls of my starting centre-backs. I think I might actually play Justice Wagner. I'm going to start him for the next game and maybe... De depending on how he goes, keep him in the team. So I've gone and put Justice Wagner in at right centre-back position alongside Pogba. Yambere is going to go on the bench for now, but uh, I'm liking what I am seeing. I'm liking the fact that he can play multiple positions according to the player info anyway. Only 17 years of age, good stats pretty much all around for someone of his overall. So we'll see how he gets on. Look, he's gone up by four already, and you know what? Naturally, now that I'm looking at it, take a look at his in-game face, Justice Wagner. He looks a bit... um. He doesn't exactly look like the face of just like a normal region. You know, he's got a bit of detail going there, Justice Wagner. Man, that's, that's uh, I don't know, that's that's pretty cool, isn't it? There you go, Justice Wagner. He's a little hopeful, hopeful starlet of this career mode. I'll also go ahead and mention that I've also promoted some of my Youth Academy players, including that 50 overall right back with a 93-94 potential. So keep your eye. Man, his skill attributes do not reflect a 50 overall. If only his... You know, physical stats got a bit better, but damn. Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves at five foot ten. Another bloke to keep your eye on here, Carson Park. Maybe one day, at some point this season, I will look to play some of these lads, but I, I won't do it for now, as we pick up a Manager of the Month award. There you go. But we have left the month of March. We're now in April, and we've also got, by the way, a US Open Cup game to play, Philadelphia Union. I'm probably going to sim that, although that's another chance at Silverware that if we were to win, I'd feel better about leaving and going on to another club. But uh, at the same time, I don't think I'll play it this month because I do want to play LA Galaxy away and just see if Ibra's still in that team. So we're just going to bang out these three games before we get to that LA Galaxy one. And then, thankfully we do get a win, I'll play it and leave the episode there. Here we go then, US Open Cup game, first one against Philadelphia Union, it's away, so again, you just never know, but it is a win, Villalba, we progress to the next round. We will wait and see who we pick up in the later stages, but we're on a bit of a winning streak right now, you know, I'm hoping that we can keep it going. Please, lads, it's another away game, but in the form that we're in, surely we could maybe go on and, oh, you wouldn't believe it, Wayne Rooney missed a penalty, and Joseph Martinez made him pay five minutes later, simple one to win. Jeez, goddamn, <clears throat> the pressure's on me, you know. As Justice Wagner now up to a 72, I'm feeling so much better about putting him in the starting 11. We've won our last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven games. We've won every game. We've won every game except for the one game that I played where we drew 2-2 with LAFC. Oh, come on. All right, I, now I have to, I please, I have to get the win. We're going back to California. We're going to the StubHub Center and Barco is back from his injury as well. Starting 11 is fully fit. Wagner's going to get his starting gig. Come on, boys. Let's, please. I can't. Not another draw. Not even a draw. We have to get a big win. I have been to this stadium in real life too, by the way, the StubHub Center. It's, uh, again, not the biggest, most craziest ground in the MLS. Not like the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, but it's a decent little spot to watch some football. It's in the middle of bloody nowhere. But anyway, I'm looking at their team and I'm noticing this Zubak fella instead of a certain Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I'll take that, you know. Best defensive teams, huh? We've only conceded two in the MLS, and half of the goals we've conceded all season came in the one game that I played. Boys, please, I clean sheet, honestly, more than anything. And here is that LA Galaxy team with a few big outs, you know. They don't have Alessandrini anymore. They don't have Zlatan Ibrahimovic anymore. I can't see uh, Dos Santos anywhere. That is a... Come on. I mean, they, they might have some good players in there. I know, I'm for sure, but... I mean, just the players and the big names that I'm used to are playing against the LA Galaxy, not there anymore. I don't know about you, but I feel like this is a big chance. A big chance at three points on the road. Come on. Oh, gaps here. Acosta! Oh, what a strike! Kellen Acosta! It felt like he was getting held back there too as he was shooting, but still made a way to score. I felt like he was going to run onto that ball, but it just didn't come here. Look, let's see. Touch. Big gap. 
up the middle there. And there was a defender that was just lined him up and was running straight to him. But just thankfully, in time, got the shot off before getting blocked. And that has found the corner perfectly. Terrific goal. There we go. 30 minutes in. Now, this is where I have conceded in the past. I've gone ahead and then just, you know, let something slip. Please, not this time, boys. We've got to get a bit of breathing space. Okay, worked that nicely. Oh, I've worked this very nicely. You know, Vilaubo's away here. He should be able to straighten up. And bang! Two! That's what we wanted! And we've got it within less than 10 minutes of scoring our first. Hector Vilaubo. Look at that. You got one defender or the, the fullback coming way too close, closing in up the middle. And really, that just gives Vilaubo so much space to run all the way forward. And bang! Strike it. Once again, finding that exact same corner that accosted it. Finally, a 2-0 lead after all of our effort. Oh my god, all that, and then what do you do? You fucking kick it straight at the goalkeeper. That was probably going to go over the crossbar. Unbelievable. I, the goalkeeper's done us a favour by saving that. Look, what is that effort? Pogba. Wants to get up? No. Nandez, no. It's a bit of a mess in the box, but they eventually clear it, and I don't think I'll have enough time unless I just boot this thing forward as quickly as possible. I might have a chance. I might have a chance. Might have a chance that ball is not good enough from guess who? Gonzalo Martinez. Way too close. You just had to lay it off to Nandez who was running in. I think that was Nandez anyway. We could have been 3-0 up. Oh, for fuck's sake. God, what am I going to do about him? What am I going to do about him? I don't know. When I get it in my head, this player is shit. It takes so much for me to change my opinion. I... Ah, oh, God. i got to stop with the negativity. We're 2-0 up. It's going okay. We didn't let LA Galaxy take a shot. A shot in that first half. Let's hopefully keep it that way. Spin and turn. What's it like? Oh, that was always going to be a bloody difficult shot, but it didn't happen. Interception by Murillo. It's going to stay in. Not a good pass, though. But thankfully, Wagner is there to fight and win the possession back. Acosta now to the left-hand side. Carlton's just come onto the pitch. He's not going to be able to get away here. Martinez will finish it off. Now, surely, 3-0. Josef Martinez getting in on the goal-scoring action as well. He is the leading goal scorer in the MLS this season with eight now, and he's just pulling away from the rest of them. Oh, wow. A little chance for them here. They haven't taken a shot in the whole game. I swear, I've kept them to no shots, no efforts on goal for the whole game. Don't let them get it now. Oh, they would. I can't even keep a fucking clean sheet in this game. I, I was pinning them in their own half for like 10 minutes straight there, and then they get one counter-attack in, one cross in, and that's that. Toast. The clearance, where did that fucking clearance go? Honestly, what was that for Marilla? I'm, I'm expecting him to boot it upfield. Instead, it goes like it doesn't even leave the box. Like, why? And then that shot's not a fucking bad effort either. Of course, top bins. Oh, man. I can't just keep a clean sheet. That is a dampener on a day which was far from perfect, but we, we got the job done. 3-0 victory. Haven't been at our very best, but still been good enough. And now I kind of want to grab another because I'm a little bit pissed off, you know. I'm a little bit pissed off. Josef Martinez has space, but runs right into trouble. They're going to get a corner and a chance to at least grab one more, but they will get nothing from this game. Nagby heads it away, and that will surely do it. Referee, thank you very much. 3-1 win in the end. Could have kept and maybe should have kept the clean sheet as well. I tried to make that a... Uh, I tried to keep the clean sheet this in this game, but so far, yet to do so. Come on. it's That's all right, though. 3-1 win, and we keep this winning streak going so far. We're actually undefeated this season. Oh, yeah, boys. Come on. Let's hopefully keep this going. An, an undefeated season. I'd, I'd take that. I would absolutely take that. Still got a long way left to go. As you can see, two days later, guess what? We play LA Galaxy again away, and this time in that US Open Cup. We are gonna probably simulate, or yes, we will be simulating this one. We just played this literal exact fixture. Can we get the win? Yes, we do, but only on penalties. They actually took the lead in extra time, and then thankfully we got it back with five minutes to spare. One on penalties, Josef Martinez, our hero again. But anyway, I reckon we're probably done for this episode. I still wanna advance a little bit further, so I'm gonna go ahead and advance to this game here. The Seattle Sounders away. I'm going to play that game. That is going to be the first game I play in the next episode. So those four games in between, we'll take a look and see what the results are at the end of this uh, simulation. Whatever they are, I'm sure they must have been good because look at the standings. We're after 12 games, 
are double digits ahead of everyone else. So New York City FC, they're in second spot with a game left to play. Let's say they win it. We're still double digits ahead. It's looking good. Let's see then. Against Colorado Rapids, it was a 1-0 win. Pretty straightforward, simple there. Against Montreal Impact, it was a 2-2 draw. Against Sporting Kansas City, it was a 3-0 win. And against Dallas, a 2-1 win. Still undefeated in this season. But okay, good. I, I reckon I feel pretty comfortable leaving the episode here. We will join back up and start the next episode with this game against Seattle. And to be, to be honest, we're actually at the stage of the season, if you look at the table, where we joined or where we started last season. Like... We were about 12 games into the season when we joined Atlanta in the last season. And now look, 12 games in. We have probably been with Atlanta United for exactly one whole year. Almost to the day. And we're making good progress as well. We've still got a few more months left of action and another transfer window to get through. And I feel good. Eventually, maybe depending on if I win the US Open Cup, I'll start looking at job offers again. But for now, it's still all Atlanta United for at least another episode or two. Until that next one, guys, my name is Master Bucks. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.